go to 0 0.8. Okay. I've seen tremendous amounts of progress. Um, when he first came, he was able to do certain things because he had um, a minimal amount of rehab. Um, but when he got here, increasing the amount, uh, the duration, the frequency of his therapy schedule has really allowed him to make great gains in his functional mobility and independence. So you're directly against gravity. You're in the standing position, which we all want to be upright. And then when the treadmill is going, we have people advancing each leg. And what we're doing, there's very specific hand placement um, to facilitate some response or anticipated response. So when they're stepping, we help with that knee to bend and the foot to clear. And then when they're standing on that side, we help keep that knee extended or straight to take the weight. So the ultimate goal is over time for him to continue with this and potentially see some improvements in um, some muscles that aren't working right now or some sensory changes or some balance improvements. He did have some comments at the end of the session saying that um, his legs felt a little tingly. So, you know, and we have seen that response in other things that we've tried with him, such as um, FES cycling, where we put the electrodes on the muscles and the muscles contract from the electrical stimulation. And he he has had some reports of sensory changes. So even if we get some sensory responses back that he doesn't have at this point, that's even a positive. Because if you can feel, then you're at less risk for developing pressure ulcers or um, you know, burning yourself unintentionally and things like that. It's fun, work. it's intense, it's a lot of work. It's a workout for all of the aides and us who do mm -hmm. it, but at the same time seeing the outcomes um, and just the positive effect it has just you know, even psychologically is, is beneficial.